Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com and N5D.net. And today we're going to be talking about ramping up the ascension process. The ascension process all begins with accountability. Accountability begins with the person you see in the mirror, and this in turn affects your ascension process. We need to continuously work on our spiritual progression. Can we spend more time meditating or observing our self-awareness versus watching TV or even YouTube or BitChute? Can we change our diet to something more compatible for our light bodies? Are our actions reflecting our words? Are we working on fine tuning our psychic abilities? And are we cognizant of latent abilities that are trying to surface? All around the world, people are waking up Look at the trucker movement now in many countries. The timing of this is not a coincidence. If we look at the current energies, we see Pluto is still in Capricorn until 2023. Pluto entered Capricorn in 2008 and right on schedule, we saw the banking collapse. Of course, all of the too big to fail slash jail banks were bailed out with fiat currencies, but nonetheless, Pluto and Capricorn ushered in this energy. Pluto is known as the destroyer and will tear down everything that's not in humanity's best interests. And it will allow us to formulate new ways of being instead of rebuilding that which was broken from the start, such as fiat currency. Let's imagine I'm the bank and there's only $100 in existence. I lend you that $100 and charge 10% interest. Now you owe me $110. If there's only $100 in existence, then where are you going to come up with that extra $10? That, my friends, is what we call fiat currency. It's making money out of thin air. I wrote an article called, If There Was No Such Thing As Money. I enjoy asking people this question and have probably asked it over 100 times. I love seeing what people's answers are. Many people say that they would travel and many say they would simply have fun, but after you've traveled the world and had fun for a number of years, eventually you're going to want to do something. Why did you incarnate to this planet? Most likely it wasn't to become a millionaire while others suffer. Ultimately, we all serve a purpose for being here, whether it's to atone for previous karmic debt and or to serve a specific purpose or several purposes. On a spiritual level, we're always on a path of spiritual growth striving to attain the next level of spirituality while making the most out of this incarnation. You know what I would do if there was no such thing as money? I would have an orchard and I'd put a sign out front saying, help yourself. And if you know someone who's hungry, grab some for them. I used to be a child and family therapist for at-risk youth before I worked on my website full time. And I loved working with kids. So with that in mind, I'd also work with children in helping them to find their true passions, hobbies, and interest in life. And from there, they can make up their own minds on what path or paths they want to follow. From an early age, we're asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Free and happy are not acceptable answers in a society that places a value and worth on everything we do. The technology exists for us to live without money. What if you had a replicator and could replicate gold? Then gold and all other precious metals would be relatively worthless. What if you could replicate food? What if you could 3D print a home? What if med beds were able to heal everything that ails you? What if med beds could regrow arms, legs, teeth, and organs such as a heart, liver, and kidneys? In this idealistic society, there would still need to be the need to work at some level. For example, there would be those of us who still run our websites in order to keep everyone abreast of current news and events. But let's get back to Pluto and Capricorn, and I'll tie this all together with the trucker movement. The last time Pluto was in Capricorn was in the 1700s during both the French and American revolutions. That's what this Pluto energy brings. Remember, Pluto is the destroyer, and we're seeing it tear down social structures that are not in humanity's best interests. With Pluto and Capricorn, it also brings the truth vibration, which shines a light of truth on everything that is being hidden by the cabal. Now, I can't go into the reasons why the truckers are doing what they're doing here on Facebook and on YouTube, but by now, you already know this. 
This has become a worldwide event and the momentum is picking up. The world is watching and because of this, we have learned from history that those in power will create some sort of untrue flag in order to disrupt the momentum that people have. It could be as drastic as staging the onset for a World War III scenario, but that's not what we should be focusing on. Remember, one of the primary tenets of the law of attraction is where your attention goes, your energy flows. This is why the cabal keeps us living in perpetual fear because that energy prevents us from moving forward spiritually in this ascension process. So we don't wanna be focusing on World War III. Ultimately, this all boils down to accountability. Are we gonna stagnate in this third dimensional reality or is it time to put our spiritual progression into overdrive? You already know the answer. I'm gonna wrap it up on that note. If you're watching live on YouTube, I'm gonna be hanging out for a little while longer, but if not, until the next time, I'm Greg from in5d.com and in5d.net, sending you all infinite love and light. Namaste.